simplification, we have something called as an implicant. This is a single product term of the onset, that is terms that create a logic of one, that is a logic hi. And what exactly is a prime implicant? This, ca this cannot be combined with another one to form an implicant with fewer literals. Uh, but uh, why do they mention uh, the literals here? Like, what kind of an idea they are giving, according uh, to you? An implicant is, uh, it might be a min term or a max term. An implicant, uh, it means covering, uh, most pro uh, it is a product of some terms. And a prime implicant is reducing the number of literal. So in the Carnot map, you have a number of literal. We need to reduce those uh, literal, uh, those, those equation to a minimum number of literals. So this is what a prime implicant is. All right. And uh, when coming up to the essential prime implicants, we need to know that it is essential if it alone covers a min term in the K map. And then it's important to remember that all the squares marked with one must all be covered. Now, any single one or a group of ones in the Carnot map of a function f is an implicant of f. So when we call here f as a function, we mean that it is a function when we have a Carnot map defined and then we actually take either a single one or a group of ones and then call these ones uh, all high values as the implicants. Mm, yes, exactly. And then a product term is called a prime implicant of f if it cannot be combined with another term to eliminate a variable. So you have anything else to say about an implicant or? Yeah, that's everything about the prime implicants. Yeah. Okay. So let's